Now, a story you saw first on WPRI.com. The future is uncertain for a proposed streetcar line in downtown Providence. And joining me to talk more about it is WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan. So, Dan, it seems like uh, Mayor Jorge Lourdes is now backing off of this idea. What changed his mind? That's right. So, you know, we sat down earlier this week and I wanted to kind of pepper him with these questions because there has been a lot of criticism about this idea of a hundred million dollar streetcar. How much, you know, how much is the city going to put forward? Things like that, whether it's actually a realistic idea idea to do. And the mayor said, you know, it's just not one of his top priorities right now. And that's kind of a shift from before, but, uh, you know, he had said originally uh, he, he, he first kind of didn't love it on the campaign trail and he kind of moved forward and said, I do like it. Now he's saying not a top priority, not necessarily a dead deal, but not not something that's going to happen right away. So you don't think the idea is definitely off the table? I mean, is he just saying it's not my top priority to... So the most important thing to know is if the mayor doesn't want it to happen, it's not going to happen. Right. But what he's, he's definitely not saying done deal, this is dead. It's not, you know, it's nowhere close to that. And the council president, Luis Aponte, says he still really supports this idea. What these guys need to figure out is how to get more federal dollars into it. They only have about 13 million so far. All right, and you say federal money, and, and that's a something you know you want to get federal aid it's a big deal so what's going to happen to that money that 13 million dollars that, that has been awarded to the city yeah it doesn't matter what city you live in no city wants to give up that much federal exactly. money and so um, you know they the council president last night I talked to him at the council meeting he said you know if we're not going to do a streetcar we need to find ways to you to earmark that money for other transit projects so that's one idea that's not an easy process they applied through through the US Department of, Edu uh, of uh, Transportation so mm -hmm. you know this thing would, would have to take members of Congress to help out, but that's that's one option. We'll have to see when he brings it up in the future. That's right. All right, WPRI.com yeah. reporter Dan McGowan, thank you so much. Thanks.